What is up, my fellow Net Dwellers? Couch Command here, and Microsoft has made our lives a little more fun. The bright side is they've made our lives a little more fun in a good way and a bad way. Basically, Stardew Valley, the way I had been teaching us to mod it, is not quite as functional as it used to be. Bright side, they've actually granted us access to all of our game assets now versus just the moddable games. I can show you what I mean here in a second as far as that goes, but this is how to fix Stardew Valley fixed and fixed again. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So Microsoft has done something really, really great for us, and that is they've made it so we no longer have to enable mods on games. You'll notice none of these games no longer show enable mods. Instead, Starbound, Stardew Valley, all of them just show you should be able to play this game on PC, nothing additional. When we actually install the game, you'll notice there's no enable mods here anymore. If we go into general, there's not even advanced features anymore. Apparently that's gone away. Instead, there's just files and you can browse the location. Now, what's great about this is we now potentially can modify all games. I say potentially, because of course there's still gonna be permission issues because hooray Microsoft. But before I couldn't access my Hollow Knight game, it was locked inside Windows apps. No access whatsoever. Now I have downloaded Hollow Knight and I can actually navigate into the folder and I could delete something if I wanted to or move something out. Just to prove a point, paste. See, deleted, moved it back in, no issues whatsoever. Now, the downside to this is the way we have been modding has changed a little bit as far as some of the games go. I cannot, for the life of me, get the Stardew Valley manual installation method to work. However, I can still use the bat file to successfully mod the game as the normal installer or as the developer. The first step is you wanna come into wherever your Stardew game is located, we're going to route into the content folder and we're gonna copy this path here. Next, we're gonna to go to whichever installer we want. We've got the SMAPI standard here and do not run as admin. If you run as admin, you'll get this. This is not a pretty error. This is basically a dead end, you can't do shit. Instead, you wanna just double click to run it and it'll actually give us the option to install. We're gonna do two for a custom path and we're gonna go ahead and paste that path we just found. And we want to do one to install it. We've now supposedly successfully installed it. If we go into contents, you'll see it all here. And just like before, we're going to rename this guy and we're gonna set it to old. And we're gonna rename this guy and we're going to set it to Stardew Valley. Now, because everybody, everybody likes to comment, well, I added exe and it's not working. Exe is there by default. It is a file extension. You'll notice how it says applications. Application means .exe. They're just hidden from you normally. I display file extensions because I like to modify the file types of certain items to make life easy for me. Like changing a .dat to a .zip, which is required as far as the manual installation. If you want to see the .exe, all you gotta do is check this file name extensions, it's there. If it's unchecked, which is the default, it's not there. However, if it says Stardew Valley, oop, Stardew Valley, and it has the type of application, that's the guy you're renaming. If it says Stardew Modding API, and it has the type application, that's the guy you're renaming. This is just a little fast tutorial as far as file types go. I will probably always keep this enabled just because I need, well, I use that modification of file path types fairly frequently. Let's go ahead and snag a mod real quick, which I am going to be using CJB Cheats because his stuff works great. It's the same guy who built the modding API and it is a nice, easy mod to install. So we go into downloads. I got my CJB Cheats. I open up the mods folder here. Click and drag. Click and drag. There we go. Go ahead and close out of that guy. I'm going to leave this open because I'm going to run the developer one as well, but I want to show that this one works. I'm done with this piece. I can close it out. 
Let's go ahead and click play now. We've got our console app running. Now, you'll notice this window apps, concerned apes, PC, blah, 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 blah. What that is, is a specific pointer index inside of the content folder. So on the content folder, if we right click and we go properties and we go security and we go into advanced here, you'll notice under user desktops, we've got win sysid, concerned ape, stardew valley, PC, blah, 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 blah. So what this is doing is creating a condition that is specific to users trying to run the game, which is the pointer that enables this to run. Sorry about that. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do the co-op mode here because I don't know if any of you saw the original video before I fixed it. We had issues with doing a co-op game because of how I ran it. Here is a random farm I created. And let's confirm the cheat menu is working. Cheat menu is working, perfect. Let's go ahead and go do the developer version of it. If you are not a developer, the normal installer runs better, is faster, use that. But if you are a developer or you want more advanced logging, more advanced information as far as what's running, developer mode works. Again, same as the other one, you just double click and run it. And we need the folder. Doop, 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 and doop. I do like that, that is convenient. Uh, Stardew Valley content. Paste it. Oh, helps if I enter a number. And we wanna install. Go ahead and delete this guy here. Right click and rename this guy. Stardew Valley. Okay, let's go ahead and play. SMAPI kicks off. Mods go here, blah, blah, blah. We're in the game now. We're able to host, we're able to connect online. And our cheats are working. So that is how you modify Stardew Valley now that we've gone ahead and gotten these recent updates to Microsoft. I hope this helps you guys out. This was Couch Command. You guys all have a good night, a great tomorrow, and amazing rest of the week. I'll see you next time.